Hey guys, thanks for tuning into our channel. So um, today I am going to take you on a tour of our pop-up camper that we renovated. Um, we go to Talladega twice a year and we actually borrowed this from one of Chris's friends and he basically asked us if we wanted to buy it and we were like you know no we're good and we just kept using it and he gave us a really great price so we ended up buying it and me being the extra person that I am really wanted to spruce it up make it our own kind of make it a little more modern because you know it kind of had that 90s gold vibe going on in there and I just wasn't feeling that so um, we took it we kind of really just painted it, added some personal touches. I re-sewed all the curtains, which you'll see in a minute, but um, we just kind of made it our own. We didn't have to do any extensive work to it, um, you know, no gutting or um, saws or new wood or anything like that involved. So this was a really fun project for us to do. And now that we go to Talladega twice a year, um, I thought, I always tell people about the camper, but I've never done like a straight up video for it. so. I am going to show you guys what it looks like and then um, I'll show you some of what it looked like before and during. So come along with me and I'll show you our camper. guys so here is the door and we are gonna go in so the first thing you'll notice is this floor down here that we is completely peel and stick um, we just peeled off these pieces of faux wood and it kind of made this gorgeous hardwood look in the floors and I absolutely love how this turned out. This is probably my favorite feature of the whole entire camper, just because I love, love the look this gives. I mean, it's like a hardwood floor in a camper, come on. Here we are vacuuming the floor, trying to get up all the little dust particles and get ready to lay down our peel and stick floor. Um, you just want to make sure everything is up. There's nothing left on the floor. And of course, um, I have my special little helpers, number one over here. She's our foreman. And then my other two little helpers right over here on the other side. Um, getting some very important coloring work done so um, we did this uh, with the kids in the camper so that was quite interesting but it was really fun so um, as you'll see they just kind of hang out up there and don't really get in the way so thankful for tablet time during the day and colors we, we always have to color with that one so Next, we start out by kind of just laying the pieces in the pattern that we want and moving them around a little bit and just kind of getting the layout, seeing where they need to go. And then it's as easy as taking them and peeling off the pieces and placing them in the floor. I can stay like this forever.
So the next thing we have here, right when you walk in the door, is a shower toilet combo. And this, this bad boy just kind of lifts up and it's under there. Um, most pop-up campers do not have this feature, uh, which I found out. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we rarely ever use it um, at Talladega. Like we, we might use it for a shower, but um, typically like when we go camping, we just use the bath houses. It's a little bit easier. Um, and then here we've got our step up to our bed, which we normally sleep in. And I have the, um, dividers up here that I took out all of the old curtains and re-sewed, made brand new valances, valances, however you want to call it. Brand new. I'm not a seamstress, guys, so these seams and stuff are, like, not perfect at all. But I'm very proud of myself to tackle this project. I sewed um, all of these. These are on elastic that hangs from a couple little nails over here that are poking out. Yeah, it's a very complicated system, I know. Um, Who would like to get to know you like I know you? Touch you like Okay, so I kind of have these curtains up here, and I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's this little track right, there's this little track right here, and you have to slide these little guys onto the track, which is what I was doing, over here in this teeny tiny little corner, excuse my safety pin, but you have to slide them up there and then get them on the track and space them out. That is the hardest part. I'm gonna do this other one, um, and I'm gonna have to slide from up here over, but yeah, for the most part, you know, we'll see. So you've got this little track system, essentially these curtains um, that were here previously had these small little, show you they have these small little tabs on them and you essentially kind of have to just slide them on well instead of buying new ones I just cut them off of the previous curtains and sewed them to these squares um, the ones on the outside I added like a um, no Sun kind of lining so that it would stay um, darker and kind of help insulate uh, and I have the windows closed over here each one of them does have a little um, tie back with a snap on it um, and again guys these are not fancy anybody can do this um, but then over here I've got them kind of pulled back so you can see the desired result here um, but like I said I'm not a seamstress I just kind of took down what we had and wanted to redo it with this super cute like outdoorsy leaf pattern and then green and then these seat cushions I also recovered so let me set the table up and I'll show you and talk about that in just a second Okay, so like I said, I'm not a seamstress. Um, this table does pop up in it, and it says right there, but it, it's just to give you an idea, um, because I have we have a little grill that sits under there, and it's a whole ordeal to get this table out. So um, I do need to vacuum off these cushions, so sorry for the mess, but um, I recovered these. These were like camper basic pattern, that weird, ugly um, brown and pink and green pattern that you see so I took some canvas material in this navy color and I just kind of watched a YouTube video and you can see it's not perfect at all but um, just kind of recovered them they still have the same fabric on them um, but I did a because you have to you know I had to hand sew back here 
so this is like a hot mess but if I ever need to take it off and wash them I totally can um, I just cut that seam right there and slide them back out so it's not a big deal but I really think that just having I don't know why they do the crazy patterns anyway but just having a solid color for the tables and so we can have pillows and be all cute and whatnot so this is bed number two this is a full-size bed um, it's kind of a, I, I would say it's, it's a little bit bigger than a full size maybe almost a queen um, but this is where the kids usually sleep and um, I don't have the the curtains over here um, just because I have not sewn them yet I got real tired of sewing um, hours and hours of sewing these curtains so um, we've got our little kind of uh, mattress cover foam pads here we definitely got to um, wash these but uh, this is usually where one of us sleeps with a kid um, and then when we go to Talladega we both just sleep over here um, in this bed and it is a I put velcro on these too just so that you can have a little added privacy um, especially if you are changing or whatever I really like to have that extra security knowing that my blinds aren't going to blow open so let me slide this back and you get the full ordeal here with this is a king size bed um, and really truly and honestly like this is huge and I absolutely love this is where we typically sleep because it's bigger um, and these are I mean they're fairly comfortable we had to add the little mattress pads um, but it's just like some squishy foam it's uh, super easy to buy those online and yeah so we did a little diamond plating down here on the steps here and over there um, just for kick plates and to keep the uh, dirt and stuff down but the next area is the um, counters so these were pink pink guys pink um, and this is literally contact paper and so what I did was I took the contact paper and an X-Acto knife and I just came in here one day and just went around all of the areas um, that I could and covered as much of it and as close to it as I can get. And as you can tell, this actually turned out absolutely amazing. I love the way this looks. It actually looks like we have marble countertops in here. Super, super pleased with it. Um, the little seat back right here, and I also added it on top of the toilet shower combo lid for extra counter space here. And it really goes well in here. Um, it matches the gray cabinets, which we completely, everything was wood colored, like 70s wood paneling color. So we took um, all of the doors off, painted them, and we sp spray painted all of the handles. These were gold. Um, this little middle line right here that my finger's running over was gold. Um, so we just kind of spray painted and redid all of it to a gray color. And don't get me wrong, like we've used this, so there's like smudges and scrapes and stuff. I mean, my kids have been in here, but it works. You can paint it and it holds up really, really well. Um, this is rubber and it's where the sink flips down. So it's wearing off right there, but I'm not worried about it. Um, and then also here, I just took peel and stick tile. This is like backsplash kind of. Um, and just cut it like you can see it's not perfect obviously but I cut it and attached it here and all the way around the bottom of the sink so you can just kind of get a good idea of what that looks like move my phone so you can see the whole thing it just kind of all looks and like I said I mean this took me like 20 minutes peel and stick tile boom done so the sink works um, this like lifts up and flips over when you pop the camper down. So this sits in the floor. Um, 
and everything holds up really well. Um, you know, it's like it's like a little home away from home. Um, everything's nice and compact. So we have kind of redid it and made it our own. Um, this up here is where a shower curtain will go one day, but like I said, we really don't use the shower and the shower curtain kind of obstructs the view. It's kind of bulky and weird, so we just took it out um, and eventually we'll add another one, but for now, this is the way it is. The, the AC is going, it's nice and cool in here. Um, this is a super cute little camper and we absolutely love taking it places it's got a little fridge got a lot of storage down here um even underneath the seats here flips up and there's storage under there so we have like camping chairs and extra sleeping bags and things like that so this is definitely um it was a labor of love i want to say it took us a full like two weeks from start to finish um, just in here with the painting and the things I had been working on the curtains for uh, it probably took me about a month um, the seats and the curtains they took a long time but they turned out great um, you know hindsight 2020 like I said I am not a seamstress so you can see all of my flaws but it's okay because it works for us and we love it um, and it's just our little home away from homes. So thanks for watching this video. Um, like I said, we just kind of popped this up to clean it out before we went to Talladega and I wanted to do a quick little video of it and kind of get it up so people could see what it looks like. Um, but thank you for watching and hopefully we'll make many more videos like this one. And yeah, so have a great day, bye.